In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, Amen. Jesus, Mary, St. Joseph, and St. Teresa, pray for us. And this is December 2nd. We're heading into Advent now. We've got like the four weeks of Advent. I know the fourth week is really small. It's just like a day long. But we've got Blessed Raphael Karlinski today. And sorry I'm yelling. I guess I feel loud today. Whatever. Poland. Wow. Lots of great saints coming from. Oh, Raf. Raphael played the harp, lute, and mandolin. Wow, for liturgical hymns. So I hope that's inspiration for you. I know it is for me. I love it when musicians play uh, for God. You don't, as I've learned through this uh, cancellation process, you don't, God respects when musicians play for him no matter where you are. And I also thought, well, I just have to be playing at church for God. Well, <laughs> if, if there's no work for me in the church and I'm still a musician, I still have to do something, right? Well, it's okay to just play at home. It's okay to play for certain things in a little humble way as long as you believe that they're a godly way of playing and you're not playing horrible music. Uh, you know, even teaching is, is something you can do. I I think, um, you know, teaching out of the home is a little sketchy anymore because, unless you're doing Zoom conferences just because people bring up all these crazy accusations against people and you really don't want that in your life. Uh, like I said, with... Father Gordon McRae, he said some, some lady opened up a daycare and then she got all these false accusations like within two months of opening up this daycare <laughs> threw her into jail for 12 years until she got exonerated because it was all false and made up and she married a judge. So I think uh, that's fair enough to say it's probably unwise unless you really know the people and trust them. But I mean, if you can't trust your relatives, who really can you trust nowadays, you know? So... A lot of people just want to want to uh, not want to let anybody in their home, and I totally get that. Uh, even the people who have the best intentions can sometimes, uh, you know, just just the way the world is. Everybody's getting tempted into, uh, you know, giving bad advice. You know, it doesn't have to be mortal sins or anything sick. But I'm just saying, uh, you know, those things do happen in affairs and everything. And you think, oh, well, we're Catholic, so it won't happen. <laughs> Look what happened in my family, and you can only see, you know, the terror. And Father, Son, Holy Ghost, Amen. Jesus, Mary, St. Joseph, and St. Teresa, pray for us. So I noticed when I was playing the other day that I'm really not at the angle I need to be in the third position for doing my runs. I really am still trying to make it, make my hand this way instead of more like this. And just a little bit off can totally make the sound go off. I need to play at the angle the string is that I'm holding the violin at. So I'm still learning too. I want to be a little kid when I learn this thing, when I play this thing. I don't want to try to be an adult when I play this thing, okay? That's too much responsibility for me. Let the, let the professionals, you know, let them carry that weight. To not be able to play well is to put the record button on, and I'm always down with that. If you want to play relaxed, turn that record button off. If you want to, if you want to play on the spot and stuff, and it be, feels a little more tense, and and uh, you turn that record button on. I don't know why that is. Some some lady said when we were in a we were in a recording session, we couldn't figure out something out. We're like, why? She goes, it's because the red light is on. It's because that record button is on. Whatever reason, you know, who knows. <laughs>
to do something when you're trying to learn a new thing because you can actually get tense, learn how to play tense, you know, by doing that. It's really a, you know, it's really a fine art to try to learn something without getting, getting you know, your body uh, needs to learn how to do it in a relaxed state. And I'm still trying to learn how to do that, believe me, every day. You know, I gotta say, okay, first finger and, and this and that, and my shoulder gets all tense or whatever, you know, get neckitis and stuff. Um, it's an ongoing correction process, and that's how it should be. You know, I should always feel humbled when I pick up this thing. If I feel proud when I pick it up, it's time to throw it out the window, you guys, and get a new hobby. You know, if you want to get humbled, you play this thing. <laughs> well, you can be proud you'll play it, but believe me, if you want to, if you want to always be wrong, play this thing. <laughs> my direction with my third position.
bit there, so I gotta really be careful. This one is, is a little difficult here for other reasons. <laughs> 